Well, we're out here at the bee yard. Um, it's the 20th of March, first day of spring. Um, I come out here to place one of my swarm traps and I found that someone is, someone or something has pulled the uh, entrance reducer out that I had in the Langstroth hive here. So uh, there's a lot of activity. I'm gonna put this back and uh, I will bring you along when I set up this trap. Well, I put the interest reducer back in. Um, I'm not sure what happened there, but I'm gonna open this up and uh, check the hive since the reducer was out of it. I probably won't pull any frames. Uh, just gonna check to see um, how it's doing. So I'll be back in a minute as soon as I get it opened up. Well, as you can see, the bees have eaten all the sugar that I put on last weekend. And I'm looking down in the frames here. Looks like I've got bees on seven, six and a half to seven frames out of eight. So they're looking good. As I said earlier, I don't think I'm gonna pull any frames out today. Um, I haven't got a lot of time. I need to get this swarm trap set up. And I wanna go down to the <laughs> lands hive and take a look at it down there also. So let me go ahead and close this back up and uh, I'll be back in a moment. Well, I got the hive closed back up, not without getting a few stings. I did go ahead and look at a couple of frames. I did see some cat brood, uh, some open honey or nectar. Um, I think the reason the girls are so excited today, if you look here, look like something's been chewing on this. And with the entrance reducer being out on the ground and this being pulled out, um, I'd say something tried to get into this hive. Now here's some of the sugar that I'd fed them, that they dropped down onto this board. I'm gonna clean it off here. Um, there's some pollen. Should have looked to see if there was any mites. The last time I cleaned it off, there was uh, some hive beetles, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and scrape this off and then I'll get to put setting up the swarm trap. Well, now that that's all back together, the girls have calmed down quite a bit. Um, I don't know if I mentioned, I didn't start out with my smoker lit, but after I got a couple of stings, I lit it so I could get the hive put back together. Well, now to our uh, swarm trap. This is the uh, lemongrass oil. I've got several different brands, but lemongrass oil uh, is what I use for bait. And this is a little dropper that I get the lemongrass oil in. And then these little slow release vials. It's gonna be hard to do. Hold on just a moment. Okay, I'm back. Now you just use the dropper and you squeeze a little bit of the lemongrass in there and some at the entrance, but I, Ended up spilling a lot of it down into the hive, so and I had to wipe it out. So I'm not going to put any more lemongrass in there. Um, that'll be plenty. Hopefully it doesn't uh, deter the bees. But uh, as with the other hives, uh, bait hives that I have, um, these are Langstroth frames that fit in this hive. Uh, I do have uh, another bait hive, which I'm going to put in, put up later today, which is a Lang, I mean a Lands. So uh, I'll show you that. But this hive has a little eye hook, as 
as you can see that I just put that in put this off to the side here better put the cap on first and then we just put the frames down in the hive and as you can see these are used frames they've got some propolis and some old wax on them uh, there's no real drawn wax on them and we just fill it with these i uh, had a trap out here last year didn't catch anything but since I've got my bees out here, I thought I'd put a trap out here just in case they would swarm on me before I found them. And hopefully I would catch a swarm in the trap. So, um, just gotta put the cover on and strap it down, open it up. This is a homemade disc that I made last year because I didn't have enough disc. Um, and then I'll strap it down and then we're headed down to the lands hive. Okay, I've got everything strapped down here. I forgot to mention earlier, um, for smoker fuel, I was using this brown grass you see here. We call it broom sage. I think that's what it's called in this area. I don't know what it's called in your area, but uh, it's dried and uh, I've got plenty of it. So. It's free fuel and it works. So we're gonna go on down to the lands hive and I'll be back in a moment. 